The PPSH has had a major buff as well as a new suppressor being added to the game. So without further ado, let's just get straight into the updated loadouts after all of these balance changes. Like, comment and subscribe and let's just get straight into it. Okay, so number one is the all-time classic loadout being the AMAX. Now, what's different about today is that it's going to have the PPSH as the new SMG. Yes, I am recommending the PPSH for the first time because it is actually sick now. As you can see on this chart, it almost has the fastest time to kill of all the SMGs. Narrowly being beaten by the Cold War and the Modern Warfare MP5. Just up close though, look at its range, it's absolutely awesome. So the AMAX attachments are as follows, I'll quickly put them on the screen. You have your Monolithic Suppressor, your Zodiac Barrel, your Commando Foregrip, your 45 round mags, your VLK 3x Optic. With the T-Pose Red Glyph you have it, I personally love it, others don't. And that's it. Now for your PPS-8 attachments, you're going to have your Sound Suppressor, you're not going to have a barrel, you're going to have your Spetnaz Grip. You're going to have your Groove 5 milliwatt laser sight, your 55 round drum, and finally your rate of stock. Reason for the sound suppressor is because this is the new suppressor, and it's basically just better than the Groo up close, because you don't need that much bullet velocity. I'd rather have a little bit of bullet velocity, but more ADS and more speed. Now, at number two, it's basically just going to be a list of SMGs that you can also use with your AMAX. These are going to be the MP5, namely the Cold War MP5, the Bullfrog, and the Street Sweeper. Now, the reason I haven't said the Modern Warfare MP5 is because I'll get onto that in a bit. Now, the Cold War MP5, this has a slightly faster time to kill than the PPSH up close. This was my personal favourite before the buff to the PPSH. And so, if you're going to use this for really up close, occasions then this is great the build is as follows then your bullfrog has a slightly new build as well you're gonna have the sound suppressor the 7.4 inch task force barrel the spetnaz 85 round mag or the 65 round mag if you mainly play trios and quads then use the 85 round if you mainly play solos and duos then the 65 round it's up to you but make sure you don't use a fast mag then you're going to have your Serpent Wrap and your KGB Skeletal Stock, again just for that speed. All of these SMGs are going to be rapid. Then you're going to have your Street Sweeper, I'll quickly put a screenshot on screen of the build because I don't want to go on for too long. Now next up, I'm going to talk about the Modern Warfare MP5 specifically, as I said I would. Now the reason for this is because, as I'm sure you're all aware, if you go to downtown in the new POI, the Nakatomi Plaza building, you can do an event where if you do a scavenger-like contract, you get access to a vault in which all of your teammates will have a specialist bonus. Now this mainly applies to your Modern Warfare weapons, as Cold War weapons do not have weapon perks. And so you're going to get things like frangible disabling, frangible wounding, more money, sleight of hand. You're going to get it all. And so using the Modern Warfare MP5, especially at the moment, could be a real advantage. Because if you either do the event and get a specialist bonus or you kill someone, you're going to benefit a lot more with your SMG, with your AMAX, which is also Modern Warfare, than if you were to use a Cold War gun like the PPSH, for instance. That's the reason why I'm dedicating it to its own class, because at the moment it could be very OP. I'll quickly show you a build for it. You have your monolithic integral barrel, you have your Merc 4 grip, you have your 45 round mag, you have your 5 milliwatt laser, and then finally you have your sleight of hand perk. I know you're getting that with Specialist, but you can't guarantee you're going to get it. But this is the build for the Modern Warfare MV5, so you can use this at the moment. Next up is just a kind of list of ARs that I'd also recommend alongside the AMAX. The Craig being the first. This is best for all players of any skill level, mainly because of the fact it has very, very low recoil. It's very, very easy to use. Here's a quick screenshot of the build. And while the build's up, I'll talk about the next one being the Farah. Now the Farah, as you can see on this chart, is a pretty fast time to kill gun like the Krig. And so here's a build here for the Farah. It's either or, it's up to you. Personally, I'd use the Krig. However, the Farah is better for more medium to short range engagements. Now next up, of course, is our sniper classes. And this time you have a ton of options for sniper support. I'll quickly run you through the sniper support. You have your FFAR, making a return after all of the nerfs. You have your RAM 7, your LC10, and finally your XM4. So your FFAR build is as follows. Of course, you have your new suppressor on here. Put a quick screenshot. Now your RAM 7 build, your LZ10 build, and your XM4 build. Personally, I'm going to be using the FFAR or the RAM 7, depending on the day. The FFAR does not have a damage drop-off, so it's basically very good. And the RAM 7 has a very fast time to kill. I'll show a quick chart of all of these ARs and the SMG of the LZ10 compared here. Then your Car 98 build is as follows. The Car 98, I'd say, is still the king of the snipers. It's still the fastest, still the best. The Swiss is slowly catching up. However, I'm personally not going to use it 
as there's really no reason to. And then next up you have your SPR. The SPR is basically the alternative to the Car 98. It's a bit longer range. It still has pretty good speed, maybe like an AX50 and of course that pretty good bullet velocity. Here's your build quickly. You can use this if you don't like the Car 98 or the HDR or the Tundra and you just want to use a long range sniper rifle. Now next up is one of the more important classes being your Ghost and your Restock classes. Now in the second or your free loadout, whatever you want to call it, you're going to want to pick up Ghost or Restock to add to your class depending on how you play like. Personally, I usually get Restock, however, Ghost is also a great option. What you're going to do is you're going to pick the AR you're using, so your Amax, your Craig or your Farah, whatever it is, and then you're going to pair this with a Cycle Single Pistol build on screen for the cycle for here and of course you're going to have your ghost or your restock perk pairing this with a c4 or a semtex and a heartbeat sensor or a stun depending if you're using ghost or restock now finally the last class is one that i'm going to say is probably the most important if not the second most important being your fully loaded ghost class now this might sound a bit ridiculous how is this the most important well i'll tell you if you land back from the gulag in the last zone you're the last one left in your team or you've got one teammate and you need to help what are you going to do well with this fully loaded class it's going to give you max ammo an ar with almost no recoil and a secondary with full light ammo this basically just allows you to help out you're not going to be asking for ammo and you can help in a gunfight if needs be without showing up on the map Personally, I'm going to be using the Growl, however the Amax is also a great option for this. I'll put both builds on screen. Here's the Growl first, and here's the Amax second. As you can see in both of these examples, I have removed the Commando foregrip and replaced it with the fully loaded perk. Then your Cycle Pistol is the same in the Ghost and the Restock classes being here. And this just means that you're going to be able to help out your teammate or you're going to be able to clutch up on your own with max ammo. It's a great option and add it. So overall, the main changes are that you're not going to be using an agency or Gru suppressor for your SMGs and instead the sound suppressor. And for sniper support, basically the same. And of course... The PPSH is now the new SMG to use in my opinion, it has a great range as you can see on the chart here, I'll quickly show it again, and it beats the Bullfrog now, it's absolutely great, and I was absolutely loving it using it last weekend. So that's basically all from me, if you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please do like, comment and subscribe, telling me which classes you're going to be using down below. If you think there are any guns that I've missed out, please do tell me down below, I'll try to read all of the comments, but that's all from me and I'll see you in the next one, goodbye.